I just thought I'd come up to the park. It's a, it's a pretty pretty busy little place around here today. Just come up, sit underneath the trees. You know, I didn't get it enough of that camp hope thing or whatever, right? So I just gotta I just gotta carry on with the worship, the prayer. As you can see, there's like a game going on behind me over at the field there. I don't know, you can't see up there, but there's like a park with a bunch of kids and stuff or whatever, right? So I just figured. What a nice place to worship, man. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. His God is good. His mercies endure forever. I kind of just sat down on the ground, right? I'd like to stand up when I like to worship or whatever, but probably wouldn't catch it on camera, so I just figured I'd do this. But I think all the pastors were pretty on point, man. The Holy Spirit was just flowing up there at Hope, right? So I feel really blessed by it and... uh like, like the one pastor there, the worship leader pastor, man, wow. That was a powerful word, man. I know the Holy Spirit did some deep things in me, you know? You know that when you know the tears are rolling down, right? You just hope that they're being caught in jars up in heaven, right? I believe that. I believe God sees every tear that rolls down our cheek, right? So I just praise Him for His goodness. And His grace. Grace is sufficient. We've all been called to worship. We've all been called to pray. That's why we were created, just to praise Him. Praise Him at the mountaintops. Praise Him in the valley. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yeah, that one pastor, he was on point, man. We need to keep the fire burning, even as our wristbands say, you know, be on fire, man. That's what Jesus said. He said, I'd prefer you be warm, hot or cold, but because you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. So <laughs> that always puts a little, that always puts a little pep in my step, you know, to praise him and be on fire. Every chance we get to share the love and the good news of the gospel, we need to take it. We need to be thankful that he's called us by name. Not rejoice just that demons have to bow down to the name of Jesus when we say it, but also that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life and that he'll never leave or forsake us. So I say, praise the Lord, pass the ammunition. I gotta say thank you to all my brothers and rites of passage, especially Mark Washington, man. Wow, what a great guy, man. Praise the Lord for him. And just everyone at Calvary, I just got to thank the Lord for every person that God's put in my life. And the Holy Spirit leading me down there, I got to say that I'm so blessed and highly favored. But these wasps are getting crazy, so if you see me screaming, that's probably what's going wrong. This little light of mine, oh, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, oh, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine No one's gonna blow it Cause I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine This little light of mine oh, I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine oh, I'm gonna let it shine
someone's gonna blow it out Cause I'm gonna let it shine No one's gonna blow it out Cause I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine This little light of mine Oh, I'm gonna let it shine I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's not only a song, that's my prayer. That's my prayer for all of us. He says if we draw closer to him, he'll draw closer to us. So I pray that we all draw closer to him. Thank you. 
Shalom. God bless you all.